Gallery Initiative is something that we've dreamt about doing for a long time. The reason for that dream is that I had it when I was a kid. And the gallery phase is a very, very important part of art making. This is a detail is essential for you for the dream that you might have. Every one of you is involved with art, sees art, does art, trying, and failing and keep going. This is something that we do in art and art thinking is very, very valuable. Everybody should have it. Everybody should experience it. Everybody should be taken through it. I could name a long list of people who have been involved, who have worked for many hours to put this all together. One of the things that I feel is important in art education is experience. What makes the experience here so different and I would say transformative for every person here is that you're meeting new people. You're having interactions with, with someone that you would have never dreamed to have had before. I think that being here today will transform you in some way. But you will remember this in years to come. Thank you. I just want to see where all of you are. I see you in the back there. What's something about this project that you think challenged you the most? Was it idea generation? Time management. Time oh. management. Yes. You want to speak more to that? <laughs> it was more work than I thought it would be. Because yeah. I thought I would be able to do it with the time we had in class. The last week I came in every day in the morning, afternoon, and during each class to come in to work on it. Class. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody tell me what you do after you create? What is the next step? Criticism, art criticism, thinking about what you did well and thinking about what you could do better. We do analysis, looking at what it says, and we do reflection, looking at how we did. You all did an awesome job. I'm Whitney Bell. I'm teach painting at Springdale High School. <laughs> I'm Amy Kaplan and I was her student teacher for this semester. Everyone came up with their collaborative story that they made up themselves. So how was that? So we were thinking, well, what could we do in four parts? And at first we were like making seasons and then we thought what about human life? Because, you know, there's, there's various stages to human life and that's how we came. For ours, we kind of first talked about um, emotions, so we wanted to have different sections explaining different emotions. What did you think you guys did well, and what do you think you could have done differently? 
we were initially really awkward with each other so it, it, it took a few days to kind of come up with the story mm -hmm. and be comfortable and at least for me it was a little bit difficult to be like mm, maybe we shouldn't do this because like, I didn't want to offend anybody I think everyone at Cut Springdale did an excellent mm -hmm. job of working together and I know it was uncomfortable for most mm -hmm. of you but thank you for trying it and last question is how does it feel to have your artwork here in this gallery it's a little surreal because when I was younger I really liked to paint but then I kind of branched off to other things, so I kind of left painting and art and drawing and all that behind. So now that I was able to do it again and actually get it in, a, like, get in the gallery, it was it was really weird just walking around and seeing. Good weird, bad weird. Good weird. Good weird. <laughs>